What is differentiation? You'll likely know differentiation already from when you used to have to draw tangents to curves at specific points, and it was primarily guesswork. You might have gotten something close, but never an exact answer. Differentiation enables you to calculate it precisely by considering the gradient between two points with an infinitesimally small distance between them. To do this, let's remind ourselves of the gradient formula. The change in y divided by the change in x. Now we'll rewrite this formula slightly differently. We'll call the first coordinate x and f of x, and the second coordinate x plus h and f of x plus h. Substituting these into the gradient formula gives f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h. This setup is useful because h represents the small distance between the two points. By changing h, we can control how close the points are. For differentiation, we want the most exact form of the gradient, so we let h get as close to zero as possible. However, setting h to zero would cause division by zero, which we cannot do. To resolve this, we use the concept of a limit, written as the limit as h tends to zero. This allows us to calculate the gradient without breaking mathematical laws. This is the definition of differentiation, often called differentiation from first principles. For example, let's differentiate f of x equals x squared from first principles. Start with the formula. Substitute f of x plus h as x plus h squared. For f of x equals x squared, the formula becomes x plus h squared minus x squared all divided by h. Expand the numerator to get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared. Cancel out the x squared terms. Simplify by dividing each term by h. Finally, take the limit as h tends to 0, which gives 2x. So the derivative of x squared is 2x. Now, is there a quicker way to do this? Let's take a generic term, x to the power of n. Using the same approach, we substitute f of x plus h into the formula and expand x plus h to the power of n using the binomial expansion. When we simplify, the xn terms and the terms involving h cancel out as h tends to zero, leaving n times x to the power of n minus one. This is called the power rule. To differentiate, multiply by the current power, then subtract 1 from the power. For example, if f of x equals x squared, the derivative is 2x. If f of x equals 2 times x to the power of 4, the derivative is 8x to the power of 3. If f of x equals a constant like 2, the derivative is 0. This is because constants can be thought of as x to the power of zero, and multiplying by zero gives zero. Differentiation finds the exact gradient of a curve at a point. It uses limits to avoid division by zero, and the power rule makes differentiation much faster for functions like x to the power of n. If you're an A-level student, you can learn neat tricks like this from Mathify's A-level workbooks. These workbooks provide full worked solutions, unique questions you won't find anywhere else, and techniques that will deepen your understanding and help you master concepts further.